What's up guys? Back in with another video today. Just uh grabbed one of the cell cameras down in this bottom. Um had a couple of does come through in the evening and in the morning, but I've had it there for a month and ain't had but six, seven deer come through. So gonna take it and move it back here where I'm getting these bucks at. The, September the 21st and so about to start another rotation of work so I'm not going to be able to uh, get out for about a week week and a half and uh, so we're just kind of getting geared up for October these deer get on acorns right now and in October I know a lot of people say scout before deer season and we do do a lot of scouting in the off season but you're never going to know where these deer are hitting these acorns if you're not scouting a little bit during deer season it's raining it's rained the past two days so it's going to rain tomorrow and yeah the deer will move in this rain i could have went and hunted but you just don't really have a a pattern on what these deer are doing exactly right now so gonna move this camera gonna go check another camera and we're also gonna carry our boat back in that spot where we're seeing all these bucks at got some cameras up high need a couple of cameras down low see where these deer are coming from and uh, worst case I'll burn a day and then two weeks from now I'll have the best day of the season so sometimes you got to sacrifice one day of hunting for one day of scouting and stay on the deer especially the freshest sign What's up guys? So, getting all dressed up. Gonna just put my uh, leafy suit tops on. There's a trail that runs back through here on this ridge. And uh, it's across from where I'm getting all these big bucks at. I don't think they're crossing yet, but I think it's a good thing to uh, look at, especially when the rut comes. But also just trying to uh, have two good spots. And then whatever shows up is where we're gonna hunt. Got a good spot back in there. Don't want to pressure it too much. Got another spot right over here. Had a deer in velvet spot that I hunted um, the other day. Calling him one-eyed Jack. Got a picture of him in velvet. He looks like he's blind in one eye. Um, the tail, but one eye don't glow like the other one. So we're gonna ease back through here with the bow. We got two cameras with us. See if we can't find a good spot. Should be laying down some good rubs, getting the velvet off, and uh, find a good spot that we can uh, come back in October and sit. Find the freshest acorns, put a camera right on the acorns, and hopefully we'll get cell set reception back here and can um, get a picture of a good buck and then come back two weeks from now and put them on the ground. So, I'm going to try to get back here in these oak flats. Walk this trail around, might even get back in here. Just gonna make a big circle, see what we can find. Never been back in here before. Just a nice transition. Goes from thick ivy, going back into the oaks. Looks like it opens up back in here. This is a good sign right here. See the holes? I'm sweating. There's a bunch of acorns right here. Make sure they're flat. Looks like there's a little road bed that goes around that way. Haven't seen no rubs yet. Just surprising, but squirrels always take the whole acorn. Deer will leave the holes. They eat it, pop the top off.
couple little ridges going back to the trail. So we're going to hit them ridges. Follow it back, see if we can't find any beds or any uh, rubs, scrapes. Trying to cool down for a second. It's raining, but this is some steep stuff back in here. So, I'll let y'all know when we find something else. There's a good deer trail right here. Come to these acorns. There's good acorns right here. I thought I heard a deer blow. Look at all the acorns. All those yellow things. A bunch of acorns. Makes like a little flat bottom right in here. Goes from thick nasty stuff to hardwoods. Still haven't seen no fresh rubs and all the deer that we have on camera is out of velvet. So I'll mark this on the map. Could easily come back in here and see it, but we're going to try to ease and follow this deer trail on around this point. See if we can't pick up on some really good deer sign. Just found an old scrape. We'll probably open it up. Just rake it out with your boot and then pee in it. Just to get them to start hitting it. Just in case we come back in here, we also have a scrape right here in between all this acorn sign. Well, guys, we couldn't get the camera on soon enough. We was definitely going slow enough. Just jumped a deer off this point. I knew they'd be here. Just I kept looking. I didn't see anything. I seen this old tree. Looks like an old rub. I was looking at it. And it took off over there. So I guess I did hear a deer blow. It's okay, it's raining. Our scent will be out of here. We'll just keep these and see what else we find. Maybe get some cameras in this area. That deer was laying on a little secondary point. If you look back behind me, there's a ridge that runs down this way where all the acorns is at, and there's a trail that comes straight behind us, comes right off here. Some good stuff coming up. Hoping I can follow this little road bed where that trail goes. Hope I can follow that uh, damn limb scared the shit out of me. I've been seeing some bear tracks. <sighs> but anyways, we're gonna keep easing on that deer trail where that deer went off. Look like a little buck, like a cow horn or something. So, not really no big deal. I wouldn't have shot it no way. There's a fresh deer bed by itself, probably a buck bed, right off this point. And as you can see, we're just standing right up there where that trail runs along those ridges. So, good sign, definitely gonna mark this. Another deer bed right there. Good trail going that way, that's where that deer went. And then the trail goes back this way. And that's where all the acorns is at, right on the other side of that ridge. Perfect little bedding point right here. May have to put a camera right here and we'll see how good this trail is and we'll see if we need to put one. Guys just come up to an active scrape right off the edge of them doe beds. And as you can see, there's fresh tracks. So if we want to see what's in here, there's a little road bed that goes off that way. And then it kind of comes around here and all these fingers come down and meet right here. So if we want to figure out what's in here, we'll just put our cell camera on this scrape. 
and see which direction they're going and coming from and then we'll come in and hunt accordingly if they're coming here during the daytime we'll just hunt it so we're gonna get a cell camera set up i got two bars so hopefully i can get it to pick up and then we'll move on to the next spot got our cell camera put out facing that road bed the scrapes right here There's a classic buck bed right here. You can use these old walking roads to come back in here and bed down right there. Single big bed by itself. Road bed going out that way. You can watch the road looking down the hill. Have a weird little place to have to cross. It goes back into some swampy stuff. And then they don't have stuff like this where I live. And they don't have my snake leggings on. So there's that. Be a cool place for a mineral site next year. There's a hellacious trail going out through here. Take a little reach down. Deer tracks. Use red clay to find deer tracks. Finally got back to my truck. Oh. Still raining a little bit. Walked up on two deer. I think they were both does or like a spike or a cow horn. Couldn't see the second one. It just blew and took off. Um, where it's bedded, it shouldn't have been a buck. But got our cell camera back there in the back. Oh. It's probably the longest, probably the farthest way from any trail that I got a camera on. with a fresh scrape, first fresh scrape I've seen this year, a bunch of deer tracks in it, and uh, actually had two bars on my cell camera, so should get some good intel from that. I just wanted to make this video to show y'all that uh, during deer season, everybody says you should done have your scouting done, but a good rainy day like today, come over here and found a bunch of good acorns, a bunch of good deer tracks, and uh, if you just stay at home on a rainy day or if your deer ain't showing up like your bucks if your bucks ain't showing up on camera and you just wait at home until they start showing up and don't try to stay aggressive um, just like this spot I may leave that camera all year and may never even have a shooter come by but I could next week have a shooter come by during the daytime and see which direction he's going and go back on that trail and loop down and follow that ridge down and climb up early in the morning and see if I can't shoot him going to acorns or uh, shoot him coming to that scrape. But may have to go back in there and get it at the end of the year, but I'm not moving that camera. It's got 70-80% battery, so should last all the way through November. But just trying to keep some content coming for y'all. You definitely have to get out and find the acorns, find the freshest sign, and don't be afraid to walk around during deer season, uh, especially on a rainy day or a windy day. The deer don't have a clue uh, what you are. Your scent's washed out. It's going to rain tonight. It's going to be gone in the morning, and deer will be on that scrape pretty quick. So I'll let y'all know what we find on the camera and show y'all what y'all can do during deer season to uh, find fresh sign, get on different deer, and... Uh, I really think me and Alex, he has a good area, has a big eight pointer showing up, wait until October to hunt it. And then back here where I'm at, I got two different eight pointers and uh, that I would shoot uh, one eyed jack. And then uh, got one that I think we're going to call blades, just because the way his horns are, they're pretty blady. But. Hope y'all follow the channel, see what we uh, get this year. Got some good hunts coming up. Alex is going to go down um, east 
toward the Virginia line. He's going to hunt down there on game lands. And then I'm going to hunt up here um, while he's down there. I'm going to hunt up here during the rut. Me and my wife's having a baby November the 14th during deer season. So middle of November, won't get to hunt much. But come the uh, Thanksgiving weekend through December, um, you'll be seeing a lot of content from us. Hoping uh, this next rotation will be off for five days in a row. I hope me and him, one of us, will knock down a deer. Hope y'all like the video and uh, subscribe and follow our channel to see what we uh, connect with this year. So you got to be in the woods. If you're not in the woods, you can't kill them. See y'all.